Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I am about to start on the trailer build that I've been talking to you guys about on my YouTube channel and in my group, Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. This is going to be an extra special build because it is nothing like any of the detailing trailers you've ever seen me build before. And there are probably six or seven of them on my the two channels, the one I abandoned like eight years ago, that channel. There's a couple there and then several on the new, the current channel where you're seeing this. So what I'm doing and what's important to me is having less stuff to get all of the same work done. Uh, so it's going to be a smaller trailer and I looked at the prices of trailers and usually I would build a, you know, buy a, um, a basic trailer and then build off of that. This time I'm actually building the trailer. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so what you're looking at is all the parts that I need uh, to basically build a trailer. Uh, earlier today I cut, so I use a company uh, for um, some other projects, uh, a metal supply place here in Tampa. And basically I have them drop off aluminum. So I'm going to build the frame out of aluminum, uh, all the bracketry that came with the, uh, well, all, everything that you see here. So there's a 2000 pound axle. Um, it is 48 inches from center to center where the, um, where the suspension will go. So it's 48 inches wide there. So this trailer is going to be basically four foot wide, uh, by, I think five and a half uh, feet long. Not a not a massive trailer. Uh, I will actually cut the video in a minute, and I'll basically I'm gonna weld those together. I gotta weld the frame together, and then I'm gonna be cutting. I, I just picked this up from Home Depot. I'm gonna be cutting some bracketry out of that uh, three eighths. That is, I'm sorry, three sixteenth two inch by 36 inch. So I got, I got to mount the uh, bracketry for the leaf springs. And because I'm using this uh, aluminum, this is 6061 aluminum. That's the strongest that you can get. Well, strongest I can get. Um, so I wanted these brackets to be the full width of the base. Um, so basically this guy here, is gonna be underneath. Here, I have a piece cut right here. So basically, that's going to be the frame. And then this, a, a piece of this is gonna be on top. And then basically, that's how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna have a couple of bolts going through here. Uh, and that'll keep it super strong, but that's kind of like what that piece of steel is for. I'm going to cut it up and use it as bracing and a couple other bracket options. Um, I got my receiver. That's a two inch receiver. Um, again, the frame's going to be aluminum. I am going to use some cold galvanizing this stuff. If I can find it, this right here. I'm going to be galvanizing the bare metal to make it more corrosion resistant. Uh, basically, just because it's not, it has no coating or anything on it. It's not galvanized. So I'm going to use the galvanizing um, compound to basically just make sure that everything's sealed and protected. Um, I opted for black wheels. Uh, so those wheels and tires will be bolted on here shortly. I got black fenders and as far as the tongue goes, i take you around here. I had my metal supply place drop off this 24 foot section of um, basically two by three by a quarter aluminum. So this is what the uh, tongue is going to be constructed of. So I've got to figure out how long the tongue needs to be, I'm only going to extend it to basically where the axle is. Um, so halfway back on the trailer. So, 
and I only want maybe two to three feet sticking out. So I'm guessing I'll probably cut a six foot section, should be good, and then I'll mount the uh, the ball, the hitch ball uh, adapter. I'll bolt that right into the front, and then I'll bolt the rear in, and she'll be good to go. So that's uh, basically, this is part one of the, the new detail rig build. Um, I have not mentioned to you yet what I'm doing for the actual trailer and storage and how I'm mounting everything. Uh, I will be building a Foxy box, foam and epoxy, just like you see these laminated panels here. This is uh, XPS foam and uh, they have fiberglass everywhere. Um, I build speaker boxes out of this. So what I'm doing is, and this is kind of what I teased you about, I am going to build the enclosure out of the foam and epoxy, not only because it's light, but crazy strong. But what I'm gonna do is on the bottom of the trailer, there's gonna be a water tank built into the enclosure. Um, I'll give you more info on that soon, but that's, that's basically, uh, why this is going to be so unique. It's going to have roughly a 30 to 40 gallon. I've got to do the math on it. Uh, water tank on the bottom of the enclosure. Uh, that's going to be super awesome. I'm excited to get that rolling. But anyway, this is uh, part one showing you guys the goods. And part two is going to be uh, the frame because I got to get the frame straight before I can literally do anything with anything else so i've got all got to get got to get all that bracketry and the suspension uh mounted to the frame after the frame is complete and then after that we can bolt up um the axle and it'll be a rolling trailer uh before until i build the enclosure so uh, i will have a functional trailer before i have an enclosure to put things in so Anyway, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. Uh, and then 813-846-4406 is myself. You need me. Uh, but this is going to be pretty awesome. I will be uh, taking orders for these. I do not yet know what my cost is, nor do I know how long the enclosure is going to take. I'm not real worried about putting all this metal together i gotta cut some steel i gotta drill some holes bolt some stuff together that's the small work the big work is going to be that enclosure that's going to be super duper badass and i'm going to be uh spraying infinity liner all over it so i'm going to use lots of things that um we actually sell and do at gary dean detailing detailjuice.com infinity marine works and all of that so Everything that you see on the trailer, including the trailer, will be stuff that I've done myself. Uh, and again, if you want one of these trailers, let me know and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, by the end of this build series, the last part will be uh, basically at that point, I'll know my cost. I'll know how much time I have to put into it and that kind of thing. But this is a fully custom deal. Um, this is not something that you can go right out and buy anywhere. In fact, I've never seen a water tank built into an enclosed trailer ever in my life. And so we'll see how it goes. And uh, I will show the world. And that's what I'm going to do. So thank you guys for watching. If you've got questions, let me know. And stay tuned for more. You're going to want to see this, especially if you want to build it yourself, which you can. I am not going to itemize for you guys. It takes too long to put all that together, I don't have the time. So you can either figure out what I'm using by the videos and do it yourself, or you can just pay me to build it for you. So that's where we're at. Thanks for watching guys. Check out part two when it's up. And uh, I'm gonna try to give you at least one video per week on this until it's done. Uh, I only have a little bit of time to get it done before I have other things that I've gotta do. So I will be expediting this deal. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.